everyone, my name is Monica Fonseca and I'll be going over a case study. In your first day at a rehabilitation clinic, you work with two patients. One is quadriplegic and the other one's paraplegic. Explain the location of the injuries, symptoms, signs, and conditions. So, um, in discussing the paraplegic and quadriplegic individuals, this is basically a paralysis of some sort um, that could be an, a spinal cord injury. Now, depending on that is going to be whether it's severe or not. Um, it, it is important to note that I also read that some diseases can cause uh, paralysis of upper and lower extremities as well. So, for a person that is paraplegic, it can be from T1 to L5, and a quadriplegic person can be from C1 to C7. So to illustrate that, I uh, printed out our spinal column here. Cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and coccygeal. So a person with uh, that is paraplegic could have injury from T1 in this region all the way down to L5. A person who's paraplegic could have an injury from C1 to C7. I also illustrated it here in this diagram, which for paraplegic can actually be a little higher here in the abdomen region. Let's say if it was T1 um, that they got injured. Basically, this person would have uh, very little control of their abdomen muscles. Um, so it's going to be harder for them to control let's say, bowel movement or uh, bladder. For the quadriplegic, it was from basically the neck, lower, um, upper limbs, lower limbs, and basically everything in between. So, um, having said that, I am going to include some information on like specific locations and what it actually affects. But as I said before, a person who is paraplegic, let's say if they have injuries from T1 to T8, they might not have control of their uh, bladder or bowel movements. Uh, whereas a person who's quadriplegic, if they have an injury from C1, C1 to C7, um, they would have paralysis of their arms and their legs. So the other thing that was important to note on that is that I read that if it was pretty high on their cervical region, they actually would need um, a ventilator because they would have problems in breathing. So in signs and symptoms, um, I did include that um, for both, what I read for both paraplegic and quadriplegic is basically they're going to have obviously loss of function, whether it be um, for paraplegic, their uh, pelvic region and legs. For quadriplegic, it would be from the neck down, basically, arms, legs, um, and everything in between. Then um, some for paraplegic, is going to be loss of uh, sensation in lower limbs. Again, that depends on the, the location of the injury. Um, they're going to have bowel or bladder dysfunction. That, that happens in both quadriplegic and paraplegic. Um, they're both going to have like loss of sexual uh, function. The only difference is that quadriplegic is going to have that whole difficulty in breathing. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. I will post the information that I found and hopefully we'll have a discussion. Thank you.